All right, so um, I am just going to record this now <laughs> after an amazing amount of, uh, of challenge today with, with technology. Um, so I have no idea how many people are here live with me, um, but uh, I'm trying to just stay in the end result here, which is um, which is very important. Cool. So I think that I'm live at least somewhere. I've got a recording happening. So welcome to day five. And uh, that was a an, an interesting start to, to day five, uh, which is recoding the fear of failure, which is uh, which is really perfect, isn't it? I've had such a great week, and so I expect most of you are going to be watching this uh, on the on the replay. And, uh, and that's, that's absolutely perfect that you're watching on the replay. We've had such a great few days. Uh, and let me just ask you uh, on the replay, I'm gonna come back and have a look at this. What has been your biggest takeaway from the last five days? Because we, we have covered a lot. If you wanna type that in because you are here live, uh, I am watching and I can see uh, the people that are live and those sort of things. So, uh, so, so yeah, what has been the biggest takeaway? You know, the, for me, day one was fantastic, helping you guys understand the, the different structure that needs to be underneath everything. Uh, day, day one was about structure and structure is a very, very, very important aspect, something that's been missed. Too many, too many of us are trying to fix our current reality and, uh, and then pop out to something new. And that's just, that's just not what's going to uh, cut it, uh, really. So we have to understand how to step into our end result identity and let go of who we've been. And so it's a very different, a different way, a different way, if, if that makes sense. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Carol. I see you. I see you as well. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Roger. Good to know that some people found it, uh, found their way through to be on here live with me um hey bob it's good yeah uh, and so so I, i'm loving what you guys are typing in the seven um family uh, generations of family losing fear that i don't have to be fixed um awesome dean it's coming together i hear that you're uh, organizing your office and everything julie told me hey patricia uh I, I moved the time earlier and then we had all sorts of crazy challenges trying to get this thing to go live today. It seems amongst this uh, amazing moment in history um, that, that all sorts of things are, uh, are, uh, are difficult. So anyway, day one was really, really important. Really important. Uh, day two, understanding the conflict, okay? So for me, day one was helping you guys understand, you know, you don't need to be fixed you're still going to be you when you arrive at your end result. You're just going to, you just got to remove some resistance. And I showed you how to become a super conscious creator. Uh, I just got these, these hats, by the way, who would like to get a hat, super conscious creator. So just got us, got ourselves some hats. So that, that was day one. Day two, I talked about internal conflict. Okay. Conflict internally is something that means you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, it's, it's very, it's very, <laughs> Dean's got one of these, uh, one of these hats. Um, yeah, you found me, you made it, you got it. Oh yeah, they are. Um, thanks Bob. You're a legend, man. Yeah. You've got to get out there and do it. So, so structure, structure is so crucial to understand that if you have beliefs that are working against what you want, or you have a different structure. Uh, it's not that you're broken or needing fixed. It's just that we just need to bring this structure together so that you can move forward. So we did that. Day three, we looked at triggers. And, uh, and, and who enjoyed triggers? I, a lot of people had such a big breakthrough on the day of triggers because uh, triggers are looking at things that are in your current environment that you have a, a over-the-top emotional reaction to and, uh, and allowing yourself to, to recode those down. Uh, so that's, that was a, a really, a, thanks Misha, coach Misha, we've got a few of uh, my coaches, the Vays here, uh, who else is here, Bob's here, Dean's here, I 
think I saw Carol. Uh, so we've got a lot of people in the certification. Um, you found me, <laughs> you found me, Kristen. That's good. Um, Brad's here. So it's a, it's very, very cool to see the coaches. Hey, Donna, you made it. We all made it. Cool. So day four yesterday, we, we jumped in and we did a family recode and it was, um, it was pretty profound. Uh, we went back obviously and you know, dissolved to nothing and, and went through and, and really did some big shifts. How's everyone feeling since yesterday? How's everyone feeling? You feeling good? Feeling great? A lot of people, um, you know, uh, ask things like, oh, Chris, will this stick? And it's such an interesting perspective. So neuroplasticity says that our brain is, is able to be hardwired, but it's always able to change. So we're always, our brain is able to, to shift new neurons, new connections, and it's through a, a law called, or principle rather, known as Hebb's principle. And uh, the, you know, Joe Dispenza says this a lot, but um, it actually came from some really amazing research. And it's that neurons that fire together, wire together. And this is Hebb's principle. And so neurons that, that fire together, say emotion and, and uh, you know, finances or whatever, they're, they're gonna wire together. And so what we do when we do recode is we go in there and we help the superconscious in another thing. Can everyone, can you guys type in Hebb's rule, H-E-B-B-S rule, it's Hebb's, Hebb's principle or Hebb's rule, okay? And that says neurons that fire together, wire together. Another principle that I'd like you to write down is called the reconsolidation moment. In fact, I'll type that one in because uh, it's important. Reconsolidation moment. Moment. Okay, why is that an important uh, thing to understand? The reconsolidation moment, okay? So this is the moment. In 2001, they were first able to observe the moment that two neurons that are together like this reconsolidate, open, and change. So what does this mean? It means that when you understand how to connect to your superconscious, you're simply able to reconsolidate and then fire new things. Reconsolidate, fire new things. Now, what that means is two things. Number one, it means you can change anything that's in your way. But number two, nothing's set in stone, right? Like it, it, it's changeable. So what we do is we do three things. So we work with people in the Magnetic Minds Masterclass. Who's in the Masterclass or in the certification, by the way? Uh, type in me if you're already in um, those programs with me. Type in me. I want to see how many, uh, how many of our uh, people do we actually have here? There they all are. Yeah, hey, Roger, good to see you. Hey, Laurie, there's Dean, Zavay. Cool, so a lot of, lot of you in there. Um, and so what we do is we, I'm not sure who that is, but it says clairvoyant readings. Uh, welcome, sacredtools.net. So, so a lot of you are in, in that program and that's fantastic. There's Carol, uh, cool. So good to see so many of you here because we do three things. So first we uncover, then we change, and then we install. Uncover, change, install. So uh, when people ask me, Chris, will this stick or blah, blah, blah? Well, you know, you choose to make it stick. You, you create new, new program, you create new coding. And we do this every week. In fact, we do three sessions um, every week. In fact, the next one's gonna be, is coming up in just a couple of hours with Rochelle. And, and so here's, here's how this works, okay? And I want everyone to get this before we do today's, today's work. Um, oh, hey, Kelly, oh, there we go. I don't know why it's there either. <laughs> um, so uncover, change, install, uncover, change, install. So look, the, you know, the, I'll, get my, I'll get my super conscious creator book out um, and get right to where I want it, what I want to talk about. So these are the, let me just see, uh, can you guys see this? This is the five steps to consciously create, okay? So the first thing, you choose a true goal. Can someone type that in? Choose a true goal. 
And a true goal is very interesting. I'm going to talk a little bit about choosing true goals. Most of us aren't living in true goals. Really true, like what we really love. How do you know it's true? Well, it's just something you would love to have. No other reason. It's just a true goal. The second step to consciously create anything is we create structural tension, okay? So number one is choose a true goal. Number two, structural tension. And structural tension is where we go, okay, so that's my true goal. That's what I desire. This is where I am now. And that's all we do. That creates a tension, like uh, the water pushing up against uh, a dam, right? It's a tension. It's like a rubber band, right? I'm, I, I want this. I'm here. So that tension, also known as the two point um, from, from matrix energetics, allows you to understand that there's two points. Okay, so you create a you create a measurement, and and whenever whenever you're manifesting, you always get into a true goal first, and then you 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 notice where it is now. And this is for anything because all that time is is a measurement between two points. That's all it is. It's just two points. I was here and now I'm here, right? That's all that time is, okay? So it's understanding that we, we set these boundaries up so then manifestation can occur rather than, you know, okay, so then the third step is we get into the emotion of the end result. And this is because once you set the, the structure up, I would like to be uh, here. This is my end goal. I create structural tension. We then need to go into this emotion so that we're so that when the tension is set, there's more focus on it moving forward rather than the goal moving back, right? So just imagine a rubber band is stretched like this. Ah, what's going to happen? They both want to come back to the middle. So when you stretch it, you say, I really want this, but I'm actually here. And then you go into this emotion. You put more weight on this side. So this one is going to want to move that way. You must live from this end result. So you become it first. Once we become it, okay, we step into that identity of the end result. That's when we can go into number four, which is unplug and recode. Okay, so we've gone, I want this. I'm here now and I'm going to feel this. And now I'm going to look back. And I'm going to unplug myself from the current reality. So the current reality, the current identity moves like this. And that's manifestation. That's manifestation leads to the last, the last step, which is take the aligned action that moves you and aligned. That word's a good word, aligned. So we do this every single week, three times a week. And then we have uh, another extra session as well. However, um, so the last step was aligned action. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, however, for the next month, we're actually going to be doing a lot more sessions to help everyone through this uh, this transition. We haven't decided. I've uh, got about how many messages? 14 messages from Hannah and Rochelle to look at. And, uh, and they're probably telling me about how it's all going to go. So that's all um, very exciting. Uh, the book that I am holding, um, if it's freezing on YouTube and you're here live, you can come join me over here on Zoom. Um, join me on Zoom. Join on Zoom if um, buffering or frozen. Cool. Um, this book here is the Superconscious Creator book. Uh, so, uh, this is, um, this is what we go through in the four day and the, the two day workshop. So is there, uh, before I get into today's, um, workshop, does everyone know that we have a, uh, two day, um, we have a two day event happening this weekend. Now, um, a lot of you, if you're in my programs already, um, if you're in my programs already, you're going to have access to this uh, already, so you're going to know about it. But if you're not in any of our programs, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this, uh, this workshop, because we were doing it in San Diego, over 160 people um, 
you know, over 160 people was, were attending. And uh, then obviously with this, this uh, virus and everything, it's, it's been postponed or moved, moved to uh, a, later, a later time. So look, I do have uh, a way if anyone is here that hasn't got a ticket that would like to um, purchase a ticket. We're doing the whole event online this time. We're gonna do it as a virtual event. And so I've just put the, uh, the link in for those that, um, for those that want to, to purchase a ticket. Uh, very, very cheap for two days. We're going to be doing an amazing amount of work. And if, uh, uh, if you think that the, the work we've been doing over this five days is good, wait till we, uh, um, wait, wait till you come and spend two days with us now. So how we're going to do it is I just recorded uh, and did the two day here in Australia just two weeks ago. So it's the most up to date stuff. We had, uh, you know, proper videography team. We recorded it, I was mic'd up, great sound, the microphone for everyone in the audience, I was awesome. So what we're gonna be doing, so whether you're in the, if you're in the masterclass or the certification, this is included with what you've already got, but if you're not, this is something I really want you to have a look at, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to have you guys consume together the recordings of the two day, then I'm gonna jump on and we're gonna do the exercises together live uh, and, and here's the benefits. There's always benefits. The first benefit is number one, you can be, a, you can involve your whole family. You can put this on your, uh, you know, your big screen TV and your living room. And, uh, you know, you, you're going to be able to do that. Number two, uh, your, your whole family and everyone will be able to be involved. So, so number two, you don't actually have to travel. You can stay at home, which is another great benefit. Uh, number three, you know, you can actually move at your own speed. You can actually pause me, rewind me, and listen to it again, which uh, some people, you know, that's going to be really beneficial. They, oh, I really needed to hear that again. Whereas at the live event, it's just, you know, I just go, go, go. Um, we're still going to do all the sessions and all the things together. So the only thing that's sad is, you, you know, you're not going to, we're not going to be able to have a hug and shake hands and everything, but uh, that's just the nature of the next six months, uh, I think. I think it's going to be at least six months till we get over there. We haven't um, rebooked yet the dates. We're just trying to we're just trying to wait. I'm sure you can appreciate and figure out well when should we book these because the worst thing would be to to book it again and then have to move it again. So so anyway, that's um, that's happening this weekend. Um, that's happening this weekend. So look, if you if that's something you want to be a part of, then um, then do it. Uh, virtual selfies, yeah, we can do virtual selfies. Uh, and also, we do have a masterclass. So, uh, if you if you want to be a part of the masterclass, please reach out because it's the it's the time to get into things like this. So, with all that being said, uh, let's get into today's work, which is recoding a fear of failure. So, give me a big yes if you're excited to to get into this uh, and talk about how to get through the fear of failure. Uh, I'm going to be going through the uh, the double bubble exercise uh, for those of you who who know it. Uh, it's one of my favorite exercises passed down to me through uh, Colette Stryker, and she's, uh, she's amazing. If you don't follow her online, you really should, really should. Uh, let me just find it in my book. Who's excited? Yeah, cool. And who's going to be at that two-day, by the way, this weekend? I hope I'm not just going to be online talking to myself. Where is neutralized charge emotions? We've already done that. Need your belief flip, unpacking rules. Uh, internal conflict. I should have uh, got this ready. Here we go. Double bubble. Perfect. You'll be there, Tetra, for the two day. That's good. Okay, so. Failure, fear of it. What's the what's the deal with all this? What's the deal? Why is it so important to to recode and to not have this fear? Well, the the big thing is to understand that uh, as we've been talking about this whole weekend, exactly what emotions are, and uh, you know, just just understanding that they are instructions from our past. Uh, 
it's very, very, very important to get that a, a fear of failure isn't a bad thing. Uh, however, if it, if it is persistent and doesn't allow you to do the things that you want, then, uh, then it, really, it really can cause upset. So I want you to think about your, your fear of failure, failure. And so write down for me right now, question number one is I just want you to write down a list of things that you don't want to happen. Okay, I'll type in the questions. Number one is write down a list of things you don't want to happen. Okay. And, and just take a moment to, to do that. Uh, I see some questions. Is there going to be a link on our Facebook page? There's a whole group, um, but Dean, the, the times aren't the best for Australia, unfortunately, because it's a United States event. So you'll be able to participate in, in it, um, but we're going to be we're going to be doing it um, United States time. So I'll be getting up super early in the morning. Okay, so write down a list of things you don't want to have happen. Yeah, Roger's written down, you know, drowning, going bankrupt. Yeah. Yeah, losing my family, unhealth. So put a number one when you've written a list of things that you want to avoid. Letting people down. Yeah. So it's a, yeah, cool. Okay, cool. So some of the things that I would like to avoid, um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't prefer to, to have to go bankrupt again. I wouldn't prefer to, you know, be called a fraud. I wouldn't prefer to, um, you know, have judgment. I wouldn't prefer to see my family die. I wouldn't prefer, I want to avoid, you know, dis, uh, disease or, or ill health. Like, I wouldn't prefer those things to be my experience, okay? And so, you know, just put down a list of things you, you, you want to avoid. They can be circumstances, they can be conditions, conditions. Hey, Martin, good to see you. And so you, you got to ask yourself when you, when you look at the things that you want to avoid is when, what would really happen if those things happened? And, and this is, you know, this is an, an interesting thing because it, a lot of times we know that we would, we would find a way forward if those things happened. Okay. And, and I want to give you a little story in 2016. Uh, and most of you know this story mainly because it was the, uh, the toughest time in my life. So it, it's something that I talk about a lot. My 2016, my best, best friend and business partner, um, was killed in a motorcycle accident and um, you know very special guy to me very very special and and always will be and, and anyway he was he was killed and uh, it really threw my life into a huge spin I was um, I was running an event in Anaheim in California and I get a call that he was in Bali Indonesia and he was riding his scooter and anyway he was killed and uh, and instantly everything just went the wrong way uh, people pulled out of business contracts with me. Uh, I couldn't access money, uh, just, just all sorts of stuff. And we went from this, you know, four and a half million dollar business to multiple six figures in debt, lost my friend emotionally, like all sorts of things happened. And, uh, and look, I, I remember getting into it and having this experience and then realizing very quickly well okay cool is this it and, and uh and it was like it was such a freeing moment to to you know lose everything so bad it was i was just it you know i i remember um having to to borrow money from my mum to pay my staff which to me as a you know as a a successful male entrepreneur that was a big hit to the ego hey mom can you loan me some money 
um, to pay my staff. And, and so, so I remember all this, but I remember this moment of going, well, is this it? And it was so freeing because since, since then, so, all right, cool. Well, if that's, if that's the worst it could ever be, you know, I still, you know, had, had my life. I still could read books. I could still start again. I could still, so it was like, is that it? And it was really interesting. It was, it was interesting. And so for, from that moment on, uh, along with, you know, a lot of other synchronistic things that happens, uh, my life really took off. But I'd have to say out of everything, it came from a place of no fear of failure anymore. And so what I had before that, before this moment, was I would always push failure away. Like uh, I would actively avoid it. And so I would do things uh, to stop bad things happening. And, and it's like pushing against the pendulum. Okay, the more you push against the pendulum, the more it comes back. You push it, it comes back. You push it, it comes back. And so what I found is half of my brain was actually being, or half of my energy was being taken up by pushing away what I didn't want. Okay, so let's say um, that I have 10 units of um, focus. Five units was actually being used to avoid things. Does that make sense? And so that only left five units to focus on, on, on the opposite. But the truth is, when I really looked at my old self, I think it was nearly 10 out of 10 was just focused on avoiding bad things happening. Everything in my life was, I want this so that I'm not this. I want to do this so that I'm not this. Give me a yes if that's true for you uh, to some extent as well, that, that most of the things in your life are actually there to avoid those things happening, going broke, losing your family, dis-ease, ill health. And even though I thought that I was conscious and I thought that I was, uh, that I was a creator, I, I thought these things, I was really just looking at what I didn't want instead of focusing on what I did want, you see. And that's, it's, such a, it's such a big, big, big difference, a big difference. And so what I love to share with people is, you know, you don't, you don't need to sit and worry and avoid about someone burgling or breaking, breaking into your house. You know, you don't sit there in this moment in your house worrying about whether someone's going to come in or not. Instead, you're focused on what you've created. You've, you've got a lock on your door, right? You're focused on, on what you're creating. You're not sitting there worried about it. And that's the same with failure. You know, you don't need to be sitting there worrying about, am I going to go broke or am I going to go this? Is someone going to come in? Is someone, no, you just got to, you, you don't need to push against that. It's like, you got to go for it. And so what we've got to understand is that we don't need to be actively avoiding things for them to not happen, okay? We don't have to be worried about them, focused on it, because if they do happen, we're going to just stay in our end result. In fact, sometimes, and I want everyone to get this, sometimes when you're creating, it looks like failure. Sometimes when you're creating, things have to break down. And it's funny, I actually think that's what's happening with the world right now. So many of us are trying to create a new world and the world's gone uh, somehow where things need to break down for us to then create it. I think there's an aspect of us that have, have, have created the reaction to this virus as a collective consciousness to help us all break it down so we can recreate. I don't think it's going to not be painful. I think it is painful. But sometimes that's part of creation. Sometimes people say to me, Chris, I want financial abundance. And we're in the field of financial abundance, right? And then all of a sudden they lose their job and they say, but Chris, I, I, I'm doing everything you say. And I go, I know maybe losing your job is what creates the space for the new opportunity to come through. That's going to help you get the financial abundance. And so if you don't recode your fear of failure, when things turn up, that might look like failure, you're going to react. And when you react, oh, I lost my job. <gasps> Oh, am I going to pay my bills? Failure, 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 alarm bells, alarm bells. You race, get another job and get right back to your current reality. 
Does that make sense, guys? Give me a yes if that makes sense. If you're not out of this, if you're not okay with that, if you're, oh, okay, cool, well, I've lost my job. This failure doesn't exist to me. I'm going to stay focused on my end result. Oh, okay, that happened. All right, cool. I'm not against it. That happened. That allows me to stay in my end result rather than getting dragged or pulled around. Okay. So, so what we do is we, we really want to get to this moment. Okay. And I call the moment the wizard's gate. Okay. And the wizard's gate, you must enter and then you enter the magnetic mind. Okay. The wizard's gate is the gateway that opens up for the magnetic mind. And a magnetic mind, is, by definition, is when your mind is in the exact resonance of what you're creating. It's a magnet for it. The only way to be a magnet for what you're creating is to have nothing in your field that is, is focused on anything else other than what you're creating. So not focused on avoiding not focused on looking good, not focused on being perfect, not focused on anything else except what you're creating, a complete magnetic focus. A magnetic focus creates a magnetic mind. So we must not have any resistance to failure. And so we need to get to a place of, if you had no money, nothing changes. If you were broke, nothing changes. If you were unhealthy, if you were single all of a sudden, if people judged you, nothing changes because you're not resisting it. You see, the true creators on the planet, people that choose what they want, they get into, you know, the presidents or they, they make lots of money or they create fame. They, they're not constantly worried about all these other things. Does this make sense, guys? They're, they're constantly failing. They're releasing. I mean, Will Smith is an example that I really like. Is uh, I mean, that guy, we all look up to him as someone that's, you know, super successful. He was able to create. But the amount of movies that he's put out that have bombed, it's amazing, right? And then, you, you know, he releases this thing um, last year with him and his wife, and it shares about just how much troubles that they've had. Right? He's, not, he's not worried about looking like a failure. He's just in his end result. And it's, uh, it, it's so important to understand this. I think Will's an amazing guy. And, and really, he, he, to me, he's, he's in through the wizard's gate. He's in his end result. This is what he's creating. This is what he's doing. He's in the, in the field. But he doesn't have to focus on the failure. It's not, it's not, that's going to happen along the road of creation. Okay. So, so we do a very interesting process to, to help you guys get into through the wizard's gate. So the wizard's gate allows you to be in the magnetic moment and the magnetic moment and the magnetic focus is a very relaxed place, okay? And if you, you know, if you're in my tribe and you, you see how we re react to things, nothing really changes for us, you know? Like, uh, I still get on, I do, everything's the same, you know, everything's going to be the same, we're going to stay the same, no matter what happens, we get huge success or crazy pandemic, or whatever's going on, we're going to stay in our end results, because we know our focus creates reality, so it's a very important thing. So the process is the double bubble, okay, and, and what we do, okay, with the double bubble is we go into what you want to avoid. So let's say it's being broke, okay? And we ask you to desire being broke, okay? And as you desire to be broke, like we say, I want to be broke. I'd love to have no money. As you desire it, all the aspects, identities of you that would never let that happen, they pop up and they say, what are you doing? Why would you desire being broke? This guy's an idiot. Why are you listening to him? What are you doing? This is crazy. Don't desire to be broke. If you're broke, people will judge you. If you're broke, if you're... and all of these aspects of you that are taking your attention pop up, then we can recode them down so that they're not there. Don't be broke. Don't do that. Don't fail. They're not in your mind. The only way for them to show themselves is by doing the opposite of what they want, which is to desire it. Does this make sense, everyone? Give me, just, just give me a number one if that makes sense. I just want to make sure everyone understands why we would do that. 
Yeah, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Cool. So that's how we do that. Then what we do is we go into what we do want. Okay, we go into what we do want and we desire it. And then we notice all the parts of us that go, yeah, this will be better. This is what I do want. This is what I want. This is it. And then we recode all of them because the ones that say that they want, let's say, financial abundance are actually the same, the same aspect of you that says don't have failure. They're actually the same. They're, they're coding. So there's imagine there's a little, a little identity. The identity is identity in you says don't be broke be rich life will be better if you're rich and life is crap if you're broke right or life is crap if you're unhealthy it's better if you're healthy right and some of you go yeah that's true no it's not no it's not neither of those things are true here's what's true life will be exactly as it is now exactly to the extent you're allowed to enjoy life right now will be the extent you're allowed to enjoy life in, in, in health or in riches. It's the same. You, you, don't, you don't go get this and then suddenly you change. No, you, you have it now. You feel good about life now and, and you get into the wizard's gate. And that's the key. The key is that we don't have these external things controlling our internal. See, the, so, those, so we recode those aspects. Once we finish this process, you end in this perfect centered place. From this centered place where you have no desire and no resistance, this is when you first step into choice. And choice is very different to goal setting because choice by nature says you already have it. Okay. So I already feel abundant and I choose to have money. I already feel love and I choose to have a relationship. I already feel wealth and I choose to start a new business. You see, you already have, when you're in choice, you already got it. And so this is where you end up. And so it's a, it's a really uh, important place to get to. And it's hugely part of the magnetic mind. And, and honestly, it's, it's the basic level of being a conscious creator. It's basic. If you're not, if you're not in, um, you know, a lot of the, the prophets or the, the sages have always said, surrender to the moment, surrender, surrender. If you're not in a place of just surrender first and in, in the moment and then in conscious creation, uh, you're not, you, you, not going to get this. You're not going to get it right. Uh, in fact, you're only going to find yourself more and more frustrated with all the teachers out there that, that try to get you to, to create. So, uh, how many of you want to do this? So you've done number one, write down a list of things you don't want, okay? Number two is what end result, uh, what end results relate to what you want to avoid? What end results? This is question number two. Question number one was what do you want to avoid? Question number two is what end results relate to what you want to avoid? So for example, you're I want to avoid being broke. Oh, okay. Well, I've got an end result of um, starting a business. Oh, those two relate. Oh, I've got a, uh, I've got a, I want to avoid not letting people down. All right. So I've got an end result of, you know, uh, helping others right, for example. So I just want you to see and find what end results do you have that relate to what you're avoiding. And I want you to pick one. I want you to pick one. Don't just say, I want, I want to create success. I want to avoid failure. It's too broad. The superconscious is a really hard time with something so broad. So Here's some good examples. And I want you to type in yours. I want to avoid broke. I want to create riches or wealth. You know, I want to avoid looking stupid. I want to create, uh, I want to be a public speaker. I want to avoid um, disappointing people. So I'm trying to create this. And I just want you to give me, if it's okay, type them in. Um, type in. Type in both sides. Type in both sides. Um, or if you can't bother typing in, you've written it down, just type in a number two to let me know you've, you've done it. I'll give you a minute. 
give you a minute to choose that. And look, if you want to just speed speed it up, then then just uh, just choose you know just choose one of the basics. I want to avoid being single. I want to create a happy marriage, or broken rich. Thanks, Roger. Yeah, I want to avoid poor health. I choose excellent health. Thanks, Dean. I want to avoid discouragement. I want to create solutions. Got it. Cool. Nice. I don't want to appear incompetent, but I want to coach and do public speaking. Nice. Thanks, Stephanie. Cool. I want to avoid failing in business and I want to become happy and successful. That's interesting. Interesting that those two are linked for you. Cool. Hey, Molly. Got Coach Molly in here as well. It's good. Lots of our Magnetic Mind coaches are here. You like that, Coach Molly? Is that what you like? <laughs> it's your new identity. I just gave it to you. All right, cool. So I think we're ready. Okay, so so how this works, okay, it's closed eyes. I introduced something called tagging, okay? So I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to ask your super conscious to first go into desiring what you want to avoid, okay? So um, I desire, so I'll use Tetris here, I desire to appear incompetent. I want to appear incompetent. I want to look stupid and like I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I want that. As she goes into that, I'm going to say, super conscious, can you tag everything that's that's causing resistance? And her brain will go, okay, uh, yeah, I don't want to look. I don't want that because uh, when I was two years old, this happened and this happened and this happened and this person, and I don't want that at all, and this emotion. And all these things will pop out, okay? So we tag them, okay? It's called a tag. I just want you to think about it. Super conscious will just tag it. And remember that that's what's going to be recoded. Then we'll keep our eyes closed. We'll move into what we do want. So to keep Tetris one, the other one, I do want to do coach and public speaking. I want that. Then all the parts of her that go, yeah, that would be great if you did that. You'll change people's lives and you'll make money and people will love you, right? Yeah, that's it. You'll get emotions and beliefs and structures. Everything will pop out. We'll tag all of those. We'll keep our eyes closed. We'll come in the middle. Uh, oh, it's Kristen. Well, that's even that's even more confusing to me. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Well, this is this is Kristen's, and then we'll be in the middle, and we'll want both of it at the same time. <laughs> I just wish everyone could keep the same names everywhere. <laughs> we we move through different social media networks, and uh, you know, people come in that that tennis mythbusters here and. Uh, you know, over here, that sacred geometry, and over here, that just him. <laughs> and here I am trying to communicate. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> it's funny. And so then we go into the middle, and when we're in the middle, we're going to desire and want both at the same time. <laughs> it's not just you, Kristen, there's so many people. So I have. Um, Mr. 2.0, his name's actually Dean, and I have to remember all these names. <laughs> it's funny. And so we, we go in and we do both of them at the same time, okay? As we, as we desire and resist both of them at the same time, we tag that too, and then we do a massive change history. And what you'll feel is the whole thing will start to just move into the middle. We might do two rounds, and then you'll just be in this clear state at the end. Uh, I just want to remind people. Um, I just want to remind people if you haven't if you haven't done the first session or done a recode before, it, it's not really uh, you're not really gonna your brain doesn't know how this works. So what I prefer you do this recording's available is is go back and do session number one day one. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, that's just going to teach your brain how the recode works. If you haven't done that, it's really, you know, you're really not, in, not able to do this um, to the extent 
you're more than welcome to. It's not going to cause any problems. It's just a, a, I taught the basics on day one, and um, it's not that exciting to teach the same stuff over and over again. So I've taught it once, uh, so you can go watch it um, on day one. Cool. So if you are doing it, um, let's let's go. Let's go. So you should have written down what you're resisting and what you're desiring. And uh, I think your super conscious knows how this is going to work. Uh, so, so cool. Cool. Uh, if you're ready, just go ahead and close your eyes right now and give me uh, permission to connect to your super conscious. That's it. Just close your eyes and give me permission. Cool. And you give me permission by saying to yourself, I give Chris Duncan permission to connect to my super conscious to increase satisfaction. Uh, and decrease pain. Cool. So, so I have my eyes closed now while we do this. Okay. So, just close your eyes. Cool. Just give me permission, and um, I'm gonna just check to make sure I'm connected to your super conscious. Super conscious, please connect to everyone who's on live and everyone on the recording. Can you do that? Okay, great, cool. Great. Okay, so super conscious, please step into the desire of the unwanted. I want you to desire the to be incompetent or desire failure or desire being broke. I want you to desire the unwanted and I want you to go there and desire it 10 out of 10. Can you do that? Yes. As you're doing that, super conscious, please tag all identities, emotions, beliefs, and anything else that causes resistance. And so what I want you to do is be desiring the unwanted. I want to be a failure. I want to be, I want that so bad. Just step into it. Notice all the parts of you that, that wake up come to defense of this very strange desire. Superconscious, please tag everything that comes to the defense of this. Great. Okay. So now I want you to step into the opposite, the, the, true, the true desire, what you do want to happen. Super conscious, as you step into the desire of this, please tag everything that thinks this is a better life. So I desire to be rich. I desire to be successful. I desire to be a great coach. Just desire it fully in your heart and super conscious tag all thoughts, beliefs, emotions, personalities, identities, they think this is a better way to be. Yeah, can you tag all of those, especially that fear? Yeah. Okay, now come into the middle and I want you to desire both at the same time. So desire to the unwanted and the wanted at the same time and super conscious tag everything that pops into the active experience. Okay. Super conscious, please treat all tagged memories, thoughts, emotions, and identities in the perfect way, in the perfect order, and do a massive change history and everything is needed. Thank you.
Okay, great. Great. Superconscious, please treat all body systems, chakras, muscle memory, and everything related to stress to massive muscle memory change history. Thank you. All right, so open your eyes and come back to me when you're ready. And so, so come on back. Uh, I want to ask you all, how do you feel about that fear now? How do you feel about that now after going into it, noticing what, so how do you feel about it? What, what's different? Noticing what's different. Not as fearful. Yeah, good. Good. Just I just want you to notice has it has it come in? How do you feel? Neutral. Yeah. It feels neutral. Nice, Brad. Cool. Thanks, Carol. Hey, Steph, it's my, uh, can you expand on that? It's my perception of it. I don't know what that means. It's not a fear anymore, it's less. Yeah, nice. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go into it again. Um, Kristen settled in, it's lighter, different view angle. Got it. I can't feel my fear, it doesn't exist. That's that's a huge shift. You just wrote before my fear, emotion is intense and scared the heck out of me. And then now I can't feel it, it doesn't exist. It's huge, calm, happy. This definitely helped. I didn't realize it'd been pulled in both directions all along. It feels more relaxed now, balanced. Yeah, so. So how we finish this, okay? So, so now we neutralized it, okay? And, and not completely, true. Like it doesn't, it, it's just, we just bring it in and we can keep bringing it in. It's the same process. You can, you can do this again. What we do now, now that we're, we're, we're kind of, some of us are, are starting to get the wizard's gate, right? The wizard's gate. So the last thing we ask is, so what do you really love? What would you love to feel? Okay, so, so we're gonna do this closed eyes and I'm gonna guide you through it. So now we, we go through the gate. Now you've got to do this a lot of times until you can actually step through the gate. I mean, this was a three year journey um, doing this every day for me. Well, four and a half now, every day, stepping, getting through, getting through, stepping through the gate. Okay, so here's the last step, okay? So I just want you to close your eyes with me. Close your eyes. And I, I just want you to consider what do you really love? What do you really love about life? What do you love to do? Who do you love? Who could you love? What is it you love to be? How would you love to feel? Can you feel that now? How would you love to feel? Can you feel that now? How would you love to feel? Can you feel that now? Can you feel that now? Can you make that feeling go bigger? What would it be like to feel that now? What would you love to feel? What do you love? What do you really love? And 
And what are you grateful for? What are you really grateful for? What are you thankful for? Thankful for my body, thankful for my heart, thankful for this moment. Thankful to my mentors, thankful to this information. What am I thankful for? Mm. How does it feel to feel thankful? So from this place, keeping your eyes closed, what will you choose to create? What do you choose to create? From a place of love and gratitude, what do you choose to create? More of it. Step into the end result of what you'll choose. Welcome to your first experience of the Lizard's Gate, where you have it all and can create anything. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back. Hey guys. The Wizard's Gate is the first step along creation allows you to get into the magnetic minds. The double bubble is um, a very great tool to have. It's one of 13 different tools that we have. I love that, Carol. Coach Carol. Coach Carol Nichols in the house. Coach Steph, look at all these amazing coaches. There's the Ve. Perfect, perfect. It's not just you that needs it, Molly. It's your students need it. Your students' uh, parents need it. This is our time, coaches. This is our time. So my question to everyone who's been a part of this five day challenge with me is, um, would you like to continue, would you like to continue this work with me? We have a few different options of how you can continue. You can become certified. Who would like to become certified and, uh, and help me change the world with this? You can become certified. We have a full system. Um, and we also have a masterclass if you just want to work on yourself. Um, where is it? We have live events coming up. Um, we have a lot of a lot of things. A lot of things, yeah. Yeah. So I look, I already put the um, I already put the link to join the two day in there. Uh, there's also here is an application form. So I'm just going to put an app. I was just finding it. If you heard me clicking around for a second there, uh, I was just finding it. Um, here is the here is the application form. Um, so you can click on that, and you can let us know what your next uh, your next step would like to be. So if you'd like to be certified, uh, let me just make sure that that link works. I just posted it in there. Yeah, that one, that one. Oh no, that's not the right one. That goes straight to the masterclass. Um, I'm gonna post the link. Most people will watch the, will watch the recording of this anyway. 
So I'll post the link. There'll be a, um, there's an application form that you can go to. And that ap application form will allow you uh, to, to let us know how you would like to go forward. See, guys, this is a complete movement. And uh, I'm here to find the, the people that are going to help me to take this to the world. Simple as that. This isn't... Um, this isn't my movement, it's ours. And I've said that from the beginning. And, and you know, you know, we've got Carol on here who, who was the first person in the United States to join the movement. And uh, you know, it's it's a movement, it's gaining huge traction, but it's not my movement, it's ours. It's a, it's a group of us coming together, going, wow, this really is the answer, this really is the work. And it's taking that work out there uh, to the world, and it, it can't be done. It can't be done just me, you know. I'm just one guy, one one ability. It needs all of us, and I'm going to be so grateful, like a happy parent, as I watch so many people get out there and uh, and, and just take this this work to the world. It really is so. So look, what, however you decide to continue with us um, will be absolutely perfect. We have very, 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 uh, um, we have very, very, very easy uh, payment plans and options, especially now. Steph was the sixth. Uh, oh boy, freaking me out, Alicia. I'm not sure what that means. Um, magnetic tennis lessons. <laughs> Uh, it, it's just true is uh, your tennis knowledge plus this would be huge so um, I, I just posted so this is the this is the application link um, look when you if you want to apply you, you can click on that application one uh, somebody will from my team will call you talk you through the different options we have the certification this uh, the super conscious creator course and also the the master class so, hey, coaches, something really exciting that we're uh, putting together is uh, the Superconscious Healer program. So, coaches, you guys are going to be getting this um, as a free gift from us. Uh, we're teach, going to teach you how to take the intuition and reading and read different parts of the human anatomy and then be able to superconsciously connect not just to the person, but to the aspects of them that need healing. So um, we're taking it to the next level, guys. And that's, uh, that's going to be, I think we're going to have that ready for you within two months. Um, so that's going to be cool. And it's just going to be added to your back office. I hope that all of you certified coaches, did you all see that I added uh, a new marketing program in there recently, your first 20 clients? So, so that's in there. Uh, and we're constantly evolving this. Next week, we have our four-day Superconscious Creator course. And then this weekend, we have our two-day uh, course. So look, if, if you know you've got the time to do this right now, the fastest person ever to get certified and get out there and start working with clients was um, four weeks. And uh, it was Andrew Peer from Houston, Texas. And in four weeks, he went from starting to certified to getting clients in his fifth week. I think um, I think Nisha, she's on here. She was she's second fastest from starting to getting clients. So uh, you can you can move um, you can move really 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 fast. And yeah, so we're going to be adding that in, uh, showing you how to connect and to to truly um, understand which aspects of the human's anatomy needs changing and shifting will also be we're also doing some vibrational energy work that'll be coming through if you're in the certification you get everything uh that's our top program and as i add and bring more things out um more things are going to be added so i want to i want to finish off by saying thanks take action on this uh it's it's a it's the best time you know right now people are realizing that uh they need a way to be at home and help the world they need a way to make money and be at home and help the world. And also we're all noticing how much the world needs help. Uh, so those of you who get the call, don't let your fear stop you because fear is just your past reality. 
uh, keeping you small. So uh, it, it would be, um, it would not be good for me not to finish off by saying a huge thank you to all of my mentors and, uh, and to the people that I really get to, to stand on the, the shoulders of um, um, Zave, uh, for, for what? I'm not sure for what. Um, I've got to stand on the shoulders of some amazing people, William Whitecloud, uh, amazing mentor of mine, Colette Stryker, Richard Bartlett, Dr. Gary Flint, uh, Joe Dispenza, Greg Braden, Bruce Lipton, uh, Anthony Robbins, and just being able to being able to really learn from some amazing people. And it's uh, it's all of their work and their science and what they've done that allows uh, this to come through. Hey, so we're very grateful. We're very lucky that we we have the the new mode, the new method. It's the fastest and easiest way to create transformation. And so thank you for being here. We need you. Click the freaking link. Trust yourself. Trust me. We won't let you down. Come join one of our programs. Uh, if you think that this five-day challenge was good, uh, this is the basics. <laughs> this is the basics. <laughs> and uh, I'm really grateful to share the basics. And, uh, and let's get us out there changing the world as much as possible. So. Um, Love you. Bye for now. See ya. See you in the program. I can already see there's four of you that have uh, joined and a couple have applied as well. So I'm sure there's more of you that are about to do it too. So uh, see you soon.